guys? So, I got my new Hitachi miter saw. Well, I reviewed every miter saw I had come across, including the Hitachi, Ryobi, DeWalt, Bosch, there's one that starts with a K, for some reason the name eludes me. There's so many of them that I looked at, I can't remember them all. This is the one I chose to go with because of the price and because I really liked that the rail system was not mounted on the back and going back and forth to extend how far you needed to have it from the wall. Um, if you look here, the rail system doesn't move. This is the back of the device and that's it. This is the back. And I really, I really appreciate that. The only thing I don't like about this system, this is in the back. I like it in the front like their 10 inch one. Um, I would like this wheel to be a, a switch instead, like on their 10-inch one. Also, their laser system, while it is very good and accurate, I just wish that when you lowered this, it didn't, it didn't block it. Because this is the laser system here, and when you block it, when you lower it, this blocks it. And so, it's no longer there. Maybe that means it's more accurate, I don't know. Those are some of the letdowns that I had. Also, I wish I had a a rail guard so that I could protect the rails from getting sawdust all over them. I went and picked this up. This is a two by two uh, pipe. that It's a rubber pipe that attaches, uh, that will attach here. Uh, and I'll tighten this so it attaches nicely around the uh, outport for the dust system. And then I'll attach my rigid shop back the same way. So that should give it a nice a very nice seal that will just follow it as it goes. Um, we'll do that here in a little bit. But uh, for now, I went with Hitachi. I normally go with Bosch. If I had the money, I would have gone with Bosch, to tell you the truth. I really like their articulating arm that they have. Um, but I didn't have the money for that, and I really needed a large form factor blade. Um, because my wife is going to be wanting a deck soon, and we have to use this for within the house, re refitting uh, our stairs, and uh, so I need to be able to cut larger pieces, and uh, that's why we went with this. Otherwise, I would have gone with a 10 inch, which uh, has all the things that I really like. And the only the only issue that I have with the 10 inch is that the rail system is is hugging. Uh, both sides of the saw. If they had both on one side, it would be the perfect machine. Uh, if only it came in 12 inches instead of 10, it would be, it'd be nice. I know a lot of people say that size doesn't matter, but when you want to get something done the first time and not have to be flipping things around or, and possibly screwing up everything, screw up your whole cut and all your measurements, then, you know, size does matter in that case. This is my third Hitachi miter saw that I brought uh, back from Lowe's, by the way. Uh, my first one, uh, right here, this, uh, duct, this uh, dust port was bent on one side. I don't know how that happened. It, it didn't look like um, it had been used before. It looked brand new, um, but it was damaged, so I had to return it. The second one I got looked like someone had taken it and, and, and taken stuff from it and then returned it. It was missing this here. This part was all chewed up and damaged. Um, the, this was circular and perfect, but it was also missing the clamp. And you know that, that these are problems that you shouldn't have when you're buying a brand new device. And so I'm, I'm guessing that that one must have been returned because I can't imagine it coming from the factory that way. Um, also, right here, this had been had been split open, so it's it's as though they had done something. They were trying to do something, or the screws got loose or broken in some way. I don't know. All I know is uh, this is the third one, and, and as they say, the third one's the charm. All right, let's get cutting. Super thin. I'll see right through it. You can see through it. Look at that. 